you launch your favorite online game and immediately, or within 15 minutes of gameplay, your Windows PC crashes into a blue screen with the error kernel mode heap corruption, or in some cases, IRQL not less or equal. And this happens in multiple games. I've seen this error in Rust, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, in PUBG Battlegrounds, in Punishing Grey Raven, in Ubisoft Rainbow Six Siege, I've seen the same error in Valorant, and many others. If you start googling how to solve this problem, there will be the usual stuff to check game installation, to check windows for errors, and those types of things. You may come around some wild advice. Some will suggest to reinstall, for example, Ubisoft Connect. Some will suggest to remove your RGB software, especially from Gigabyte. But most armchair experts will agree that there is something wrong with your memory, and you should at least run memtest overnight to determine if your RAM sticks are bad. If there are some errors, you would need to remove XMP overclocking or even replace the modules. Well, I've seen some bad RAM modules, and they usually look like this. In this particular case, someone tried to remove the heatsink from the RAM modules only to pry it open with the RAM chips still glued to the heatsink. What actually prompted me on the reason for this problem is another game called Arcage. And after some time, this game complained that your client is damaged or modified to cheat. Even though, of course, the client was not modified in any way, it's just the anti-cheat going wrong. And basically, that's it. All the games I mentioned, and many more, even though they are from radically different developers, some of them are Western games, others are Chinese games, and even Russian games, However, what they have in common is a very, very aggressive anti-cheat software, since they are online games. And the worst of them is probably Vanguard Riot, the anti-cheat for Valorant. If you try searching how to fix this error in Valorant, even more wild advice will surface, and that is to replace a TPM module on your motherboard. Even though Valorant does use TPM for anti-cheat purposes, it only does so on Windows 11. Everything below, like Windows 10, runs fine without TPM. And I still think you can disable TPM even in Windows 11, and Valorant will still run fine. Anyway, the problem that causes all those errors and blue screens on this particular PC is AMD. This is an AMD machine. Recently, AMD finally started to make some barely decent hardware, however, they still suck big time at drivers. AMD has never been able to code correctly working drivers to the point they made them open source, which is a good thing, but in this particular case, AMD just gave up and now relying on community of Linux enthusiasts to code the drivers themselves. Have an AMD, write your own driver, let that sink in. And AMD provides their own storage solution, something like a RAID, to compete with Intel RST solution. And regardless of what most tech bloggers will say, you do not need a RAID on your gaming desktop PC. However, even when you don't use drives in a RAID configuration on your PC, which is not even possible if you have only one drive, AMD will still install something which is called AMD Store MI. This is the driver for their storage solution. And that is what causes those problems with anti-cheat and subsequently those blue screens of death. So all you need to do is just uninstall this AMD Store MI, reboot your computer, and now you can play several hours straight and then some more hours gay without any errors or blue screens of death. Apparently, this fix is only for AMD machines. If you have an Intel CPU, the problem is probably something else. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.